side effects from treatments, if they don't start during the course of radiation treatments, many times you can have them even after the treatments have been completed. Generally, those side effects resolve within the first couple of weeks after completion of radiation treatments. There are some side effects, which we call um, long-term side effects, depending on where in the body the treatments were done, that we look out for you know, in subsequent scans and based on how you're feeling. And if those side effects occur, then we have follow-up appointments to check in on you, but you can always reach out to us if there's anything that you're concerned about with regards to radiation treatments. But it is very common to experience the effects of radiation treatments up to seven to 10 days, sometimes even two weeks after the radiation treatment course has been completed. Yes, side effects definitely occur after treatment ends and they can present a lot further out from your end of treatment. So my biggest suggestion is to continue to follow up with the department. You will be scheduled follow-up visits and it's important to return and to speak with the radiation oncology team because they are the experts and they can advise you on what best to do. Well, it is, it's, it's important that any area that's affected by the radiation be covered up by a high SPF sun lotion if you're ever going to be out in the sun. I made sure that uh, my skin was hydrated, which is one of like the top tips I can offer any patient. You will be provided a list of topical treatments that you can use that you can just buy over the counter or if needed, you can get a prescription. So I would definitely um, pay attention to that and make sure that your skin is hydrated and then always use SPF. So with regards to diet, in general, you know, if you have any specialized diets that were modified during the course of treatment, you may want to keep on that diet for oh, one to two weeks, see how your side effects are resolving, and then slowly return to a normal diet. And if it's not progressing the way you thought it would, please do reach out and you know, we can understand better what the issues might be. I, I tell everybody that I actually feel better today than I did 10 years ago. Prior to my treatments, I probably wasn't as healthy as I am today. I'm regularly exercising, uh, I'm watching my weight, I'm eating right. The silver lining to me, to having cancer, is that I really truly do live a much more healthy lifestyle today than I did before. So that has been a benefit. So um, it was slow because of the fatigue, but again, um, I continued walking and then I started taking advantage of different cancer exercise programs. So there are a lot out there, and I would just say to, to look to make sure that you're working with people who know how to work with cancer patients so you can take it slow and get back active. To me, it was most important to listen to what my body was telling me, and my body told me pretty well exactly what I needed to know. And thankfully, uh, my family uh, were all very supportive. They understood, we spoke a lot about how I was feeling uh, and they allowed me to have the time that I needed to do the things and to, and, and my activity level just fluctuated as, as I felt necessary.